flat back and now you cut like this one. <laughs> For warming up, yeah? So now it's, it's not possible to get the round back. If I want it, <laughs> there are sticks. Okay? Yeah. So it's a good situation. It's, yeah. it's good situation that you can feel. Okay, what's happened with the flat back? What's happened? I make the exercise, <laughs> and it's not possible. Yeah. You have to run back because the sticks are stop my moving. And the situation is when I am together with some, and I have the sticks here, and I said to him, one more, I come. Oh no no no! Everything is good. <laughs> yeah, because I really don't want to do this. <laughs> okay. The next one, please. The ne next one, um, sometimes when you teach some people um, the, the pull-up situation, the pulls, and they bend their arms too early, you can take the rope around the neck and hold it straight, maybe for snatch or for, for clean, uh, clean pulls, hold it straight. So if you lift, 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 and now when you bend your arms, you get the feedback, oh, the rope, Lou lost his strength, lost his strength, yeah. lost, lost his tension, and for you it's a very good feedback. It's not good for clean or for snatch because um, after the maximum acceleration, your arms also bend and it's normal. But for uh, to learn it, so, so, so the right movement and the pulls is a very good. <laughs> okay, the next one is for the situation when you squat. Then you can take the stick behind, that in every movement you go along here, that you don't come forward. The opposite is that you take this, maybe you can use a wall too, that if someone knows that it's here, come not in the front. Okay? You know what the problem is? I mean, in squat normally you work in this way. But the problem is you make good mornings in the squat. And you have the stick in front and make it morning so you get in the <laughs> So that's what happened. Okay, then the, another one is that when we want to do the squat is this opening situation that someone rotated inwards or outwards. And we don't need any any flexible band, we need this one to come around here because when you come here it's falling down. And it's in your mind that you have to be under tension at all the time when you bend, okay? When you go into the squat, yeah? Same like uh, the round back. We have talked about the round back in the squat position. It's, it's very easy to, to take two, stri uh, two stripes of tape on the lower back. You go down, 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 and then you feel it, whoop, you have the round back, you feel it on the skin. It's also an orientation for yourself. With this orientation we can also do with a shoulder with a scapular flex, with a proud chest. Proud chest. We take here the stripes, and when they come here, then the stripes are thrown away. Yes. For example. Mm -hmm. Yes. Come. You understand? Yes. 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 The contact, the contact on the mid tight it's a very big problem. So we also take the stripe on the tight and you get and you make this exercise. That the stripe is fly away when you have to contact you. Or also you can take cork on, on, the, on the barbell and so you see a white uh, right line. Yeah. Okay. Then in another situation is we talked about this, then you could talk about this and you can talk about this situation. That is the horizontal movement and it is easy to say, okay, I take the stick like this. And when it's good lift, the fingers on the on the sticks were not it's thrown out. And that's a problem. You say, okay, you the barbell drives like this, this position. Okay? This is a good one, I think. This is a normal room handle. Maybe some sticks are a little bit longer. It's a better situation because of the height and it has more possibilities because of the jerk and everything. <coughs> because this is the situation for, for the overhead position. For the overhead position, we make a flexible band here to the ground, and when the dip comes, 
it must be under tension at all the time. It is, isn't possible that when he goes down, that the band is normal tension. Then it's too fast. The same is, I tell him this, and these are the 10 centimeters or 15, for example, now he goes too deep. Moment, yes. Yeah. And there is a noise to say, okay, this is too deep for you. Because the acoustic is there. Okay? Yo, um, symbol tricks, the markers on the floor, yeah. maybe the feet position in the split, we can mark it with tape, with cork or something else. We can also make in line in front of your feet for the jumping forward, backward or something else, the markers left and the right side for jumping outwards from the hip to shoulder width. As it's easy things. So if you have a summary of all this, you just need four things. Row. And in, in every gym, you can find one of these. In every gym. <coughs> so, so easy things to teach each other. Well, I think these, these, these situation of the marks on the ground is really, really important. In every club in Germany, when you go, there is a situation here because it's, it's a different because we are now here in the CrossFit room. Normally, you have a witness here and then the mats out of it. And then it's there are signs on it, like this, this, like the feet here and so on. That's only for technique training. That is when the lows are not so moving up, you make a technique, technique, but when you are concentrate of the intensity, then you, then you cannot um, some, uh, make some technical. Yeah. Okay. Have you any questions? Lots of information.